Driving. It's not my thing. You see, my thing with going behind the wheel is like a typical middle school relationship. One moment they break up, and then the next day they get back together. There's not really a reason why they're like this, it's just that they are. Now, as much as I'd like to say that I'm good at driving, I'd be the next iconic contestant on America's Got Talent, with my talent being that I can say the biggest lie ever. However, my journey into madness, I mean, journey into driving, has been a long time in the making. So today, I'm going to be talking about my attempts on learning to drive, and ultimately lead up to how I got my driver's license, because I somehow got one. They really shouldn't have done that. With all that being said, let's travel back to when I just got my permit. Oh, and by the way, this is technically part two of the permit video, so a part of the script was written back in October of last year. So, to quickly recap, for a few weeks, I went to a class after school that gave me the basics of driving laws. Once that was over, we took a test, with me having to take it twice, as once again, me and driving are a love-hate relationship. After finally passing, me and my father went to the DMV, and I got my permit. This is where the story begins. My dad was driving us home while I was looking at how absolutely UGLY I looked on my permit when he parked the car into a parking lot. It was then he told me that I would be driving him home. Dear God. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. My dad was insane! I just got my permit, and now he expects me to drive him home? That class I mentioned earlier taught me road laws, not really on actually going behind the wheel. So, as I got into the driver's seat, I had little clue what was where and how to do anything. And before you even say a word, Lee, I get that the class taught me basically everything I needed to know, but remember, there was no time where a teacher made us actually drive a car. So shut your trap and get out of here! <sighs> Great, now I feel bad. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, sum it up, by the time we got home, my dad realized he had a lot of work on his hands. Or did he? As only two months later, I was put into behind the wheel. This was a program provided by the school where kids would learn how to drive with a driving instructor. Every Friday in April and May, once school ended, I would go out into the parking lot and get in the instructor's car. What? Oh, uh, I don't know. I just... I just thought you were going to make a joke about the freshman year experience, part 4. Uh, no. That joke's old, and not really worth the time. Oh. Alright, makes sense. Ha ha. Don't worry guys, I'll take it from here. Oh no you fucking don't- Hey guys, welcome back to another El Garbage Classic. Today we're going to be talking about the freshman year experience once more. Make sure to subscribe and finger the video- Jeez, what a bitch. Uh, shut up nation. Made that joke last video. This program was very different from the class I took, as instead of there being a bunch of students, it's now just me, the instructor, and some rando. Uh, hi. Uh, d do you play Fortnite? That's the first and last conversation we are gonna have. Yeah, okay. So, is that a maybe? Shut it. Sorry. So, for two hours, me and the rando would take turns driving with the instructor telling us what to do. I really liked the sessions, as every time we would practice a different skill, like parking, in town driving, you get the idea. However, it was on the day we were doing the highway where the problem started. Now I break under pressure, so knowing that I would be going onto a multi-lane road where the speed limit is at average of 75, you can bet I was nervous! However, the first half actually went smoothly. Apart from a few scares, everything was going fine. Until we made it into a town. You see, someone was killed in an unfortunate accident, and because of this person's popularity, the funeral had a ton of people. Especially during the funeral procession, which is when people drive in an orderly manner to a cemetery or a crematorium. Take a wild guess when this was being held. So now, we have two problems. One, all of these people that are part of the funeral procession are creating a huge amount of traffic. And two, I only had less than 20 hours of driving under my belt, so being put into this situation was not the best practice. Hey, do you guys mind covering your ears for a few seconds? Thanks. <sighs> Alright, I'm good. Now, let's get back to driving. That's about everything that occurred with Behind the Wheel. I finished my sessions and went on with my life. That's not where the story ends, however, as I still had to get my license. This, unfortunately, was a challenge, as I needed much more hours in order to get my license. This is where the embarrassing part comes in. Normally, when you turn 16, you tend to get your license as soon as possible. But when I turned 16, I still had to practice, since I still wasn't confident in my driving. However, after a few more months and school 
school ending for a second time, me and my parents returned to the DMV and I took my test. Now, I want to go back a few days and explain my dedication to passing this. Me and my father practiced a lot of parallel parking, as that would most likely be the biggest coin flip on my test. We practiced every day of that week until test day. Back to the present, me and the driving instructor got into my parents' car, and we started driving, with him giving me simple directions on where to go. However, there were some points that made me panic. For example, my instructor told me to do a Y turn, and I did the best as I could, as my dad didn't understand the concept, and therefore didn't make me practice it. It got even worse when he told me to do a straight line backing, which who does this? I've never seen or met a single person who actually uses straight line backing, so I'm confused on why we're tested on this. Anyways, as we were driving, my instructor, who we'll call Mr. Barno, told me to park behind a car in front of us. Aw oh man, this is it! This is my chance to do some parallel parking. I can do this. Uh, just so you know, you don't need to parallel park for this. Oh. I parked behind the car normally, did something related to curbside parking on a hill, and we returned to the DMV. Wait, I thought there was going to be a spot to parallel park. You know, with the cones and such? Oh, no, 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 no. We don't actually test people on parallel parking here. Are you kidding me? I spent the majority of my time practicing my parallel parking just to be told that I wasn't being tested on it? I wasted my time! All being said, when we returned to the DMV, my instructor told me that I did well enough and I passed. Let's go! Do I deserve it? Not really, but now I can drive all by myself. We left the DMV with my new license papers as my card would be sent in the mail, and a few days later, I got my license. And that was the story on how I got my driver's license. It's obvious that I still have a long way before I should actually be on the road alone, but I'm glad I got the hardest part over. I genuinely believe that Mr. Barno thought to himself as I left. I might have just made the biggest mistake of my career. Actually, never mind. That one goes to the kid that thought Americans drove on the left side of the road. What a fucking idiot. I hope this video showed you that driving isn't all that bad. Actually, no, this video showed the exact opposite. Well, then, just don't be scared like I was, and don't do what I did. Yeah, I know, not the best kind of, what did we learn today? But honestly, I don't really have a good way to end this video, so, uh... Lee, you can finish the video for me. Ooh, looks like you've run out of time. Oh, that's too bad. Alright, on to the end card. Don't give me that look. Ah! Hello, everybody. Welcome to yet another end card. And once again, I apologize for the fact that I'm recording this very late at night. So you're just going to have to deal with tired me. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as you can see, I've been trying to get videos out more consistently. So I hope you've been enjoying that. But obviously, when school comes around, it's probably going to slow down once again. But... I'm very proud of myself for getting videos out somewhat consistency. I mean, what, the past three videos are like three week gaps? Like that's that's kind of impressive, right guys? That does that does that deserve a subscription? You know, subscribe, guys, please, please subscribe. I'm begging. We're we're almost to 9k, please. Anyways, I'd like to thank the people who had voice roles in this. Aaron, Fish, Salsa, and Mation. God, four people, I've not done that in a while. Four people, thank you guys for cooperating and giving me good lines and a good performance, and I couldn't have done this video without you guys. Anyways, with all that being said, I'm just gonna wrap it up here. Thank you for watching the video, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment something down below, share the video out to your dog, yeah, and stay garbage.